The golden age of classic Western films may be over, but a new kind of Western has established its place in the world of prestige TV. Whether you're a huge fan already or just getting into it, here's everything we know so far about Yellowstone Season 3. By the Yellowstone Season 2 finale, Casey Dutton and Monica's son Tate had been kidnapped, and the Duttons were on a mission to bring him home at any cost. They tracked down Teal and Malcolm Beck, knowing that the two businessmen have something to do with the disappearance. They're in heaven. This is your last chance to do something that just might get you in it. Teal won't confess, so Casey makes good on John's promise to shoot him. Malcolm is willing to give up some details, but he suffers a few gunshot wounds and is presumably left for dead. It turns out that Tate has been kidnapped by white supremacists who were hired by the Becks. By the time Casey finds him, he's already been beaten and traumatized, but with the mystery of his abduction solved, he can finally return home. In a heartwarming moment, John's daughter Beth reads his right hand man Rip Wheeler a letter from John, explaining that he's leaving Rip his father's old ranch house in exchange for saving Beth from a pair of attackers. Keith Cox, Paramount Network and TV Land President of Development and Production, says the network has grand visions for Season 3 and beyond, and he's impressed with the scripts that he's read so far. He told Deadline, it's going to be great and even bigger than Season 2. I know it, I feel it, it will happen. Cox also says that the final ending for the series is already planned. Discussions about an eventual Season 4 are ongoing, and the show will ideally run for six or seven seasons total. Costner has made it clear that there will be further consequences for those who threatened the Dutton family in Season 2, so it looks like karma will be coming around. Meanwhile, Beth and Rip appear to be diving back into their rekindled romance. Fan theories abound regarding Jamie's possible past interference in their relationship, so perhaps Season 3 will address some of those rumors. But expect some big changes going from Season 2 into Season 3. But you can try to find a way to play it safe, there isn't. The cast has noted that Season 3 will start off slow, but it won't stay that way for long. It's a slow burn that way, and then it heats up. Fans who are worried that the show won't feel quite the same can rest assured that they're in for a great season. Season 3 is some of my favorite stuff so far. It's pretty shocking. It looks like all of the main cast members appear to be returning for Yellowstone Season 3. Naturally, you won't be seeing Terry Serpico as Teal anymore, but there's still a slim chance that Neil McDonough could return as Malcolm. Remember, he didn't actually die on camera. This season, a few other recurring actors will be bumped up to regular roles. Forey J. Smith, who plays Dutton's cow boss Lloyd, is officially being promoted to a series regular, along with Denim Richards, who plays cowboy wrangler Colby. It's safe to say we'll be seeing a lot more of Lloyd and Colby in the upcoming season. Kevin Costner may be stepping behind the camera on occasion throughout this season as well. In a recent interview with Deadline, Costner expressed his hope that he would be able to focus on directing in the future. Future. Josh Holloway will be appearing as Rourke Carter, a charismatic hedge fund manager with big plans in Montana. Plans that just might involve the Dutton Ranch. Holloway has described his character as, quote, a hedge fund baller, with Costner adding, You can't ignore him, you can't just kind of close the gate. Deadline notes that Holloway's character will have a season-long arc, so it doesn't look like he'll be sticking around for a probable season four. It's hinted that Carter might try to make a move on Beth, and Kelly Riley expressed excitement at working with Holloway. Perhaps Carter is trying to take control of the land for himself and wants to curry favor with Beth as an in inn with the Duttons. Or maybe he'll prove to be an unlikely ally for the Duttons in the face of another adversary. John Emmett Tracy is also slated to appear in a recurring role as Ellis Steele, a chief litigator for Fortune 500 companies. Described as, quote, the kind of person who will smile as he stabs you in the back, Steele could pose a serious threat to the Dutton ranch. Corianka Kilcher will be playing Andrew 
Angela Blue Thunder, a Native American woman who opposes Tom Rainwater, the chief of the reservation. Angela is disgusted with the way Rainwater has been running the casino, and she feels that he's responsible for many of the problems on the reservation. Whether or not Angela's bold action against Rainwater will benefit the Duttons is unclear. But considering his past intentions to acquire their land to expand the reservation, the enemy of their enemy might be their friend in this scenario. Working with them is a deal with the devil, Dad. All the angels are gone, son. There's only devils left. A new wrangler will be working on the Dutton Ranch in Season 3. Jennifer Landon is joining the cast as Tita, an accomplished wrangler who may be a bit rough around the edges, but always gets the job done. It's likely she'll be working alongside Colby and Lloyd. Tita won't be the first female ranch hand to work for the Duttons after all. Avery was already recruited to work there by Rip in the first season. But it does look like she'll be just the kind of no-nonsense woman who could hold her own on the ranch. Eden Brolin will be another addition to the cast. She has a recurring role as Mia, a barrel racer who strikes up a friendship with the bunkhouse guys. Brolin is most widely known for playing Charlie in the freeform series Beyond, in which a young man awakens from a coma to find that he has inexplicable powers connecting him to a dark conspiracy. Her work on Yellowstone is just just another sign that she's definitely a star on the rise and one to watch in the next year. Finally, Karen Pittman is confirmed to have a major role in Season 3. She'll be playing Willa Hayes, the CEO of Metro Capital. She's well-dressed, intimidating, and never backs down from what she wants. Now, she wants something from John Dutton, and she's going to fight tooth and nail to get it. There's a possibility that Ella Steele is representing her as she tries to acquire the Duttons' land. With so many new female characters coming to the ranch, it looks like the women will be running things. Overall, it's shaping up to be an incredible follow-up to an addictive second season. You can catch up on the first two seasons of Dutton Family Drama on Amazon Prime. Season 3 of Yellowstone premieres on the Paramount Network on June 17, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.